morning for Odds Checker. We are bringing you an exclusive Elite Eight episode for Sharp Bets today. I am joined by Matt and Slop. Morning, guys. How's it going? It's living the dream. Yep, fired up, ready to go. Just gets better. All right. Well, before we head into tonight's slate, Slop has a pick for tomorrow's slate where Miami, Florida is taking on number one Kansas. Kansas is a six-point underdog. I'm sorry, a six-point favorite. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Slop, what are you looking at? I'm kind of sold on Miami, like kind of. Like I'm going to take them plus the six. Um, I would normally do a like an alt line, like so, like plus five. That'll get you like that's at plus one hundred five. But I think we might need all six because I'm. The thing is, Iowa State might actually stink, and Miami looked really good beating them. So that could be a problem. Like that might be a minor issue. But Kansas last night should have rolled Providence. Like Providence had like eight points in the first, I think, like fifteen that was minutes. A close it felt game. like, that yeah. True. And then, yeah, they couldn't do anything. Like mm-hmm. they they couldn't pull away from them. It's like if they if they do that to Miami, they, there's gonna be a problem because like there's one thing that they can do is those kids can score. Mm-hmm. Uh, those guards, I mean, they're all good. And the, I don't even know the big kid's name in the middle, the white guy. Yeah, he's Dusty? nice too. No, 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 that, no. he's nice. That, yeah, that guard, <laughs> yeah I don't know he's, that guy's name either. He's he's filthy. Good. Yeah, he is. Uh, I don't know. It sounds like European or something. But uh, yeah, the kids, some, he can some. play. So mm-hmm. they're actually a decent team. They match up well with Kansas, like on paper. Mm-hmm. So if you're giving me six points, especially at the end of these games, you know, wild stuff happens. I think that's just too many points. Mm-hmm. They right. could win outright. They could. Mm-hmm. It's possible. Yes. It is. That St. Peter's could do it last night. And they did. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. How do you feel about that, Matt? I was, I was sad. I'm not even <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just kept sad. live betting Purdue and I just kept losing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I hate when that happens. Like, yeah. I'll hold on a side. Do you know what I mean? I'm just yeah. Like, like, like a double, down. triple down. This is perfect. You're yeah. Like, yeah. I wanted to nice. lose in the game with 10 uh-huh. minutes left. Yeah. Yeah. No, that happens all the time to me. Mm-hmm. But I act happy. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to brag, but the uh, the team total I take. I mean, I, I guess, like, if oh, both wow. of us couldn't win, like, I guess I'll take the next best thing and, like, I'll yeah. win. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? true. Yeah, that's I thought we were good. both going to win, but they didn't yeah. cover. No, they did not cover. was a chance that you could have won. Yes, yes. And that it was, was cool. always a chance. But like I said, like, the, the, the second best thing that could have happened was me Is winning. Like, like, just me winning. Not that you'd brag. Yeah, no, I would never. I don't even put anything mm-hmm. on Twitter about it. St. Yeah. Peter's. You can even Mark, recap it. Boom, done. Yep, no recap. There's no need. Yeah. We all saw what happened. Yeah, exactly. Everyone, everyone was watching that game. Everyone's yeah. talking about it already. Oh, yeah. Another yeah. team that everyone has been high on is number five, Houston, who's taking on number two, Villanova. Now, I am also high on Houston. Um, they are in the American Athletic Conference. I think this is their last year in it before they head to a bigger and better one. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to roll with Houston. They're at minus two and a half. They open at minus one and a half. I didn't get it. I will be taking them at minus two and a half. Houston has covered 10 of their last 11 games. They just beat Arizona. Villanova beat Michigan, but like, oh, Michigan. Yeah, and Houston big, big. has one of the best defenses in the nation. Plus, not to mention, since late February, Houston has won every single game since the two-lane game by double digits. So I'm looking to see how Houston does tonight, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and that's I think the that, first one. I yep, think that it'll five. be a great game. Houston, will, the Cougars, I'm ready. I think so, I like too. It. I like the fact that uh, Villanova, they, they can shoot the three. Mm-hmm. Houston, I mean, I'm not a big three-point defense guy, like, but they do shut down the three. I mean, yeah, defense it's, it's just like if you go through every game they played, like nobody is drilling threes. I the like the problem with three point defense is if a team's hot, you know what I mean. Like it's there over. is no defense for that. Like yeah. the, the kid's just gonna make the shot, but for whatever yeah, reason, they, yeah, like they just nobody makes threes against them. So if Villanova can't make threes, they're in deep, deep trouble. It, they're in trouble. A yeah. lot of well, it. let's hope they can't. Yep. <laughs> so no, I like the Houston pick. I took um one of their guards to go over his point total. So okay. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. We All can both right. win. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Yeah, you mm-hmm. can both win. If you want, oh, come on. If you want to see that guard play, you have to go to the site, though. I, I wrote it up. Yeah, I wrote it up. That was a good, like, that was a good plug. Play. You can't just be giving up all the picks here. Yeah, I mean, that's like, true. We'll give you a lot, like a lot. But, but not, like, everyone. not all of them. You got to read for some of them. Yeah, yeah, read a little bit. Reading's good for you. It's fun to read. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, Matt is taking a look at number four, Arkansas, who's taking on Coach K's number two, Duke, 
Duke is a four point favorite. Now, mm-hmm. Arkansas just pulled off like the biggest upset when they, I mean, it depends on, I guess, what you guys think the biggest upset is. But be. for the brackets, it was a huge upset. Arkansas just beat Gonzaga. Matt, what are you looking at? Uh, yeah, I'm going to get Duke minus four. Okay. I, I, like, I, I might be one of the biggest, you know, Coach K haters, but I'm kind of rooting for him tonight because I won Duke UNC in the mm-hmm. final four. Just be good, that good that good would people, be right? pretty cool. Um, that was so, fine, North Carolina. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unless the Peacocks beat them, which uh, they might. Um, might have to but, stand, on stand away line. from the cock now, huh? <laughs> yeah. Good job, Matt. Thank, yep, exactly. Thank mm-hmm. you. The power uh, of New Jersey. Yep, mm-hmm. I, I think I have to. But um, so since I have to root for Duke anyway, by default, I'm just gonna take the minus four. Uh, tonight they're they're hot right now. I thought Texas mm-hmm. Tech was the best defense in the nation, and I don't want to say they scored at will, but I think they scored they their did. last. Yeah, like last nine yeah. possessions or something. That, crazy. that was the definition of scoring at will. That You're is right. that is <laughs> looked up yeah. scoring at will. Yeah, that's that's yeah. in the dictionary. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna back the minus four uh, with Duke. All right, I love it, uh, and I love the fact that we all want Coach K to keep dancing at least for another round. Just for one, yeah, yeah one just for round. one more round. Just for one more I, round. I think they do because Arkansas. I mean, they're don't get me wrong. That was a win against yeah. Gonzaga. Like no one's taking that away from him, but. Gonzaga might be the softest team I think I've ever seen in my life. Like they were so like Yeah, just, they're pretty soft. It was so bad. Like it's just like last year. If you if you um take it to them against Baylor, remember that? Like mm-hmm. Baylor just came at them and they they had no answer for anything. There was, there was they, nothing. Somebody said at best, they said um it was Brandon Hay- Brendan Haywood used to play for uh North Carolina, but he's an analyst mm-hmm. now. He was like they look like an AAU team that hasn't played in the hood yet. And I was just like, dude, that is it was perfect. Like that's, that's the perfect definite. Like that's yeah, that's exactly what they look like. And Arkansas just smashed them. I don't think they can do that to Duke. Like I really don't. Like I think yeah. it'll be played at a fast pace. I bet you Duke just outscores them. All right, guys. Well, thank you for the analysis. We are going to put this into a parlay. So if you guys were to parlay all three of these spreads, what do you guys think it would be? Are they all minus 110? Oh, plus 600. Final 588. 580. You think we would know this? No, that's what I mean, because we've been doing them. So yeah. I feel like, yeah. I feel like it's been like 588. We have this one. All right, guys. 600. You put $100 on these three picks. I will uh, bring them out for you one more time. Miami, Florida, plus six. Houston, minus two and a half. Duke, minus four. You would make... Five ninety five. Wait, I won. Yeah, you, you won. Did. Yes. Yep. yep. So it has plus five ninety five odds. Kind of like yesterday. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, All it's right. Did we win that yesterday? Didn't we put um Um no. No, we I, had Purdue. We had I, Purdue. I won. We had my Purdue. Bad. You my won, bad. John. My bad. Not bringing <laughs> it up or not bringing it up or anything. No, yeah. If but you did yeah, like, like if that you did a parlay happened. by yourself, you would have won. Yep, yeah. If I would have parlayed my pick. Your one won. pick. <laughs> then you would have won. Well, the one teamer. If anyone, well, if we had actually. just put St. Peter's in there, like Eli Manning told us to, none That's of this true. would have happened. Mm-hmm. Eli was trolling on Twitter last night. I know. So yeah, that, that, that shirt on. He that was shirt. at the Rangers game. With, with the, the peacock shirt on? What's he doing? He's going to, yeah, he's, he's everywhere now. Hey, man, he's guy likes the party. A I would do that if I was retired. I'd be all over the place like that. Mm-hmm. Wear a peacock shirt? Mm-hmm. Wearing peacock shirts. Doing whatever. Well, we might be wearing them tomorrow. Did anyone buy? If they win, I'm going to have to get one for this show this week. Okay, that'll, okay. Be, that'll be your punishment. <laughs> that'll be your punishment. Because <laughs> yeah. I kind of hate them. I know. Like, them. Like, no, I the kid. Them. I, I, I'm going to learn his name if they win it again. The kid that got the Buffalo Wild Wings deal for St. Peter's. Oh, um, you know what I'm talking about? Randy? Yes, Doug Eggert? Yeah, or Doug. Doug, yeah. yeah. That, guy, that kid's cool, man. Yeah, no, he's <laughs> cool. That, kid is, that kid's Did really cool. Did you see cool. him with the mustache I like that kid. and without the mustache? Yeah, he's got the mustache. <laughs> without, like, that's just. They're probably going to get a lot of deals. Like, the, what are they yeah, get out of deals? You, man? Or... I'd yeah. hire him. Right like, now? I don't know what for. I'd hire but, Doug. Like, yeah, Doug is mm-hmm. cool, man. All Big right. Doug guy. I, yep. I, I love Doug. I mean, yep. he really helped me out yesterday. Mm-hmm. So, we are, are going to end the episode early today. We brought you your Elite Eight picks. And we will see you guys again on Wednesday to see if the Yolo Parlay hit. With that being said, we are giving away $380 for this Elite Eight selection. And all you have to do is comment 
and subscribe to Odds Checker on YouTube. Comment below on this video, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. For Sharp Bets today, I am your host, Melissa, joined by Slot and Matt. Happy betting. <laughs>